let's say I'm meditating and I have some sort of profound experience, uh, ecstatic or even possibly, I guess, horrific. Um, my mind goes somewhere that it never seems to have gone before, and it has a profound effect on me. Um, I sort of think, wow, that was very profound, and I reach some alternate state of consciousness, and uh, things seem to be completely different than they are in my normal state of existence. And I say this to somebody who is, um, say, of the scientist sort of uh, mode of thinking. They say, no, no, well, you didn't experience anything profound. It was just a series of uh, chemicals or uh, neural activity or something like that, interactions. And that's what you experienced. Who's making the positive claim here? <laughs> I'm not asking which one is more plausible. I'm just asking if either side are really explaining what's going on effectively or accurately, or if they are simply um, disputing who has the best explanation. Uh, explaining something is not the same thing as experiencing it. Um, if I go on to the extremely gross uh, example, say I lean over and load my nostrils with cocaine. Okay. Uh, anyone can tell me what has happened, anyone who's had the remotest bit of anti-drug therapy in high school, where they tell you, say no. Okay, you can say this is what's happening, but that's not all that's happening. Somebody is experiencing something that seems awfully profound. Um, I'm not really saying that I'm not really advocating the sort of bad way to approach things, and I'm not really advocating that we abandon the scientific approach to anything either. But I think that we've got to beware of positive claims of anything, anything at all, because they tend to sort of only tell part of the story. The best we can do is we can say, my positive claim makes more sense than your positive claim, but that's probably one of the more inefficient ways of arriving at... Uh, some sort of uh, knowledge of what's actually taking place and what the what you are actually yourself what it, what the experience actually means <laughs>